In lesson 6.1, you will evaluate nth roots and use rational exponents. We begin with a discussion of roots, and we're going to fill in the blanks. The real square roots of 16 are both positive and negative 4, because positive 4 times positive 4 is 16, and negative 4 times negative 4 is also 16. So 16 has two square roots. Any positive real number is going to have two square roots. But this notation, this radical notation, the square root of 16, is just asking for that positive square root of 16, 4. And this notation, negative the square root of 16, is asking for the negative square root of 16, negative 4. And this notation, the square root of negative 16, is undefined because we can't take the square root of a negative number in our real number system. Actually, we can't take an even root of any negative number in our real number system because any factor multiplied to itself an even number of times is going to give us a pos positive product, not a negative product. Okay, the real sixth roots of 64 then are going to be both positive and negative 2 because positive 2 times itself 6 times is going to give us 64 and negative 2 times itself 6 times will also give us 64. The real fourth roots of 1 are both positive and negative 1 because positive 1 times itself 4 times is going to be positive 1 and negative 1 times itself an even number of times is going to be positive 1. The real fifth root of 32 is just 2 because 2 times itself 5 times will give us 32. The fifth root of negative 32 is negative 2 and only negative 2 because negative 2 times itself 5 times will give us negative 32. The fourth root of 16 is 2, because 2 times itself 4 times is 16. The fourth root of negative 16 is undefined. There's no real number multiplied to itself an even number of times that will give us a negative product, a negative product of 16. The cube root of 27 is 3, because 3 times itself 3 times is 27. And the cube root of negative 27 is negative 3 because negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3 is negative 27. The fifth root of 32, we already discussed, is going to be positive 2. And the fifth root of negative 32 is negative 2. So we can take the odd root of a negative, but we can't take an even root of a negative. Okay, here we're going to discuss fractional powers, and fractional powers are nothing more than roots. Here's a little proof that you can read through to show that fractional powers are roots. So if we evaluate 4 to the 1 half power, we'd want to rewrite that as the square root, and I don't have to show that index of 2. I can, I'll put it in uh, this problem, the square root of 4 once. So the denominator of that fractional exponent is our root or index, and the numerator of that fractional exponent tells us how many times we'll multiply that root uh, to itself. So simplifying, we know that the square root of 4 is 2, and 2 to the first power is just 2. So 4 to the 1 half power is just the square root of 4, which is 2. And here we have the 16, 16 raised to the 5 fourths power. Okay, if I rewrite that as a root, I know that I'm taking the fourth root, that's the denominator of that fraction, of 16 raised to the fifth power. The numerator is just the exponent on the root. So the fifth root of 16 is 2, and 2 to the fifth power is 32. Okay, next one. In this, 
uh, exponential notation, I'd want to get rid of that negative exponent. Remember, to get rid of a negative exponent, we moved that base to the denominator of a fraction and made the exponent positive. Okay, now I can go from a fractional exponent to a root. I can change that denominator to the third root of 64 raised to the second power. So I've got 1 over, the third root of 64 is 4, and 4 squared is 16. So this is just equal to 1 16. 64 to the negative 2 thirds power has a value of 1 16. Okay, this last example on this page, get rid of that negative exponent by moving that fourth root of 16 to the denominator of a fraction and making the exponent positive. Okay, and now I can take the fourth root of 16. The fourth root of 16 is just 2 because 2 times itself 4 times is 16 and 2 to the seventh power is going to have a value of what? I'll use my calculator, um, but I believe it is 128. So we get 1 over uh, 128 as our result. Okay, here we're going to solve uh, three equations exponential equations. In this first equation, to solve for x, I'd want to get my base and my exponent alone by undoing this multiplication. So I'd begin by dividing both sides of this equation by 6 to get x to the fourth alone. So x to the fourth is going to equal 6 to uh, 5, 625. And now to get just x, I'd want to undo that power. So I'd take the fourth root of both sides of this equation so that the fourth root of four factors of x is just going to be x. Because I'm taking the even root of my variable, I'm going to get two solutions, plus or minus, and the fourth root of 625 is just 5. So I get both positive and negative 5 as solutions to this equation. Okay, in the second example, I have a binomial raised to the third power. I can take the cube root of both sides of this equation right now and get just x plus 1. The cube root of that binomial cube, since there's three factors alike underneath that radical, x plus 1 is going to come out. So x plus 1 is going to equal, and there's not two solutions to an odd root, so it's going to equal the cube root of 18. And that doesn't simplify because the only factors of 18 are 2 times 3 times 3. There's not three factors alike underneath that radical, so it doesn't simplify. I need to subtract 1 from both sides to get x alone. So x is going to equal negative 1 plus the cube root of 18. And if I run that through my calculator to get an approximate answer, which might be asked of us, um, that approximate answer is going to be 1.62, rounding to two decimal places, 1.62. Okay, in this last example, I have a binomial raised to the fourth power. So again, I would start by undoing that power taking the fourth root of both sides of this equation. And I know the fourth root of that binomial to the fourth power is going to be x minus 5. I have four factors alike underneath that fourth root. So 1 comes out, x minus 5 comes out. I'm taking the fourth root, so that's going to be plus or minus the fourth root of 256. And the fourth root of 256 is just 4. And now when I add 5 to both sides to get x alone, I have 5 plus or minus 4. So I'm getting two solutions. I'm getting x is equal to 5 minus 4, which is 1, 
or 5 plus 4, which is 9. Two solutions to that exponential equation. Include with your notes of this video guided practice problems 1 through 17 odd on pages 415 and 416 of your textbook.